Hi ladies, today we are going to make a wrapped bird sculpture. So before we get started, you'll need to collect some materials. Uh, I have collected just a whole lot of ribbon and string from the cupboard. So you'll probably find that you have some leftover birthday string or any sort of ribbon. Anything will do that you can wrap. Uh, I've also got a passion fruit vine in my backyard, so I uh, picked some of that. You might also have some long grass or um, palm tree fronds that you can pull apart. So anything that you'll be able to wrap will be perfect. Uh, then I've got a flower and a googly eye. If you don't have a googly eye, you can use the flower and I'll probably end up using the flower anyway or a button or something uh, for the eye. But a flower would be beautiful. So we're being flexible with distance learning. I've sent you the bird outline. Uh, you can use this or freehand a bird. Uh, if you don't have a printer to print out the bird outline, you can hold it up to your computer screen and trace it onto a piece of paper. So after you've collected your materials, you're going to cut out your bird. Pop it onto your cardboard. And now I have just used a bit of uh, muesli bar cardboard. And uh, so have a look in your recycling or in your kitchen cupboard. And you just need something that's nice and firm. Now I'm going to use a little bit of sticky tape to stick that down so when I trace it onto my cardboard it doesn't move. You can trace any bird. If you have a favourite type of bird or a local bird that you particularly love, I really love my local magpies. I love their warble sound. It's so beautiful. Uh, you can do any shape that you would like. So it doesn't have to be this one. There we go. So now I have my muesli bar bird all cut out, ready to go, ready to be wrapped. So you can decide based on whatever you have in the cupboard if you want to do a really bright colourful bird or you might decide to use an old velvety ribbon or just some string. So it's up to you. I think I'm going to start be a, a I think I'm going to use a neutral palette and use my passion fruit vine, but you can do a really colourful bird. It really just depends on what you've got in the cupboard. So I'm going to start with this nice velvety ribbon.